Today we're testing the new range of irons from Cobra. Now you can see visually these are very different, so let's head out on the course here at Old Woodley Golf Club in Leeds and see how they perform. So Hannah, we're on the course with the, the new irons from Cobra, both visually very different. We're going to see how they perform now, so why don't you take it away with the first one? Yeah, so I've got the King Speed Zone here and this is kind of the more game improvement iron in the range, so we can see it's got quite a unique head shape with a lot of weight kind of put into the toe and the heel. Yep. And also kind of the first thing that stands out is this new carbon fibre top line. So we've got this kind of pattern top line that really stands out. And what's um, that for? So that's just designed to kind of save some weight so it can be moved lower down and give you a bit more um, centre of gravity lower. So it's just going to give you a bit more launch and a bit extra forgiveness. Yep. That's not bad. How did that feel? Yes, yeah, so we can see it launched nice and high and it just yeah, felt definitely. really solid kind of through impact but I think we're probably going to feel quite a bit of a difference between the two. So. Yeah so I'll give you the the one that's more like a muscle back sort of look to it. Yeah so this is designed to kind of be more of the player's iron in the range and we can see that and kind of like the muscle back shape. Yeah. So this is the Forge Tech and we've seen kind of Bryson put this in play. It's also available in the one length that he likes to use well, how and does visually that look? kind of behind the ball it just sits a lot nicer. For me, visually, I like something that's a bit slimmer. Yeah. Um, so the shape suits my eye more. Any differences in feel off the face? I'd say they both felt quite similar, actually, and that's probably due to the fact they both have forged faces on them. But that definitely flew a bit lower, more controlled flight. So for me, I'd personally like to see that a bit more. Yeah. So let's head over to the guys at Cobra and find out a bit more tech behind these two models. We've got the new King SZ iron from Cobra. This is an iron that we've done this follow on to the King F9 Speedback. It's got a lot of our Speedback shaping. So you can see that here with a wider blade, but also a pretty thin sole. So the sole is going to be your ground contact spot. It's got a typical size sole that we'd see in a game improvement iron, but the blade is much wider so we can get that CG lower, further back and wider. The other thing that's new for this iron and really the first in golf is a carbon fiber top line in the long irons. That allows us to take about three grams out of the top line. Still maintain the stiffness up there because you need some stiffness, almost like a tennis racket if you think about it, where we have stiffness around the edge so the face can flex more. We take that weight out of the top and put it down low so we got a much lower CG than we've had last year. That lower CG really helps all kinds of things. It helps ball speed, it helps launch angle, and it helps forgiveness. So one of the great things about the new SC iron is it's going to launch higher and go farther than we've had in any iron in the past history of Cobra Golf. We also put a medallion system in the back. This is a TPU, thermoplastic urethane medallion. That's designed to dampen vibrations. One of the things about these thin irons is they do vibrate a little bit more. So you need a strong system in there to make them feel like a soft forging. So that's a real ideal combination of irons. The other thing that you can see here is a little bit on the sole shape. We call it a power shell. Power shell is basically an L-shaped face that is welded into the head. That L-shaped face is forged and it's a strong 17-4 alloy. So that allows us to get a lot thinner. And on the inside, there's a couple things we do. We actually have a speed channel on the inside that allows more flexibility on the sole. When the sole flexes, you also get more speed and you get higher launch. The other thing about this face is it's a forged face, as we mentioned. The forged face allows us to get a lot thinner and we save weight on the inside on the top of the face and help us lower that CG. This is going to be one of the lowest CG irons in the market in the game improvement segment, and we think it's going to be a great performer for golfers out there looking for distance, accuracy, and forgiveness. Okay, a great new iron is the King Forge Tech. This is actually the one length version. We make them in both one length and variable length. This is an iron that's also a forged iron with a forged face. We talk about that combination being the best with our PowerShell constructions to give us maximum speed and minimum weight. It's always designing the flexibility of these structures to make them faster, so the golfers in the player's distance category can get a little bit more distance. Player's distance category is really about the shape of the iron, the size of the iron. It's really for those players, I would say, from a single digit up to maybe a 13, 14 handicap, who are looking for that playability, but a little bit more distance. This L shape, we call it the, the power shell, that actually gives us the ability, and it's kind of an L shaped forging that we put in the face that allows us to lower the weight and give more flexibility to the design. If we get more flexibility on the bottom of the sole and through the bottom of the face, we could launch higher and have that playable trajectory that those better players are looking for, but also provides a little bit more distance. So we know this category is pretty hot. The other thing you see here clearly is the shape. The shape of the irons and the look of the irons is essentially that of a muscle back look, but the playability and feel of a cavity back. 
We're trying to get the cavity back performance so we get a little bit more forgiveness heel and toe. The other thing we do with this iron is you can see this toe port, we actually inject a foam material that expands with heat. And that material will dampen any vibration. So this is going to feel as soft as a muscle back forging that Ricky Fowler plays, but give you all the forgiveness and playability you want in a player's distance cavity back. The new King Forge Tech, both in variable and one length. So we've got the new irons from Cobra back in the studio. Obviously, they're kind of very aesthetically different looking. So Hannah, what's, what's gone into the design of these and you know the performance differences that, that maybe come with that? Yeah, so obviously this one's designed to be kind of your more improvement game improvement club but this is designed to be more your player's mm -hmm. iron so yeah. there's different tech to relate to who's going to be hitting these kind of with this one it's designed to be more about feel and controlled distance so we've got kind of a muscle back style of club but inside it's actually a hollow mm -hmm. design and then we've used foam inf that's infused inside that to give you that extra feel and i think definitely out on the course you could feel the difference i don't know what you thought yeah no i'd agree just going back to design, I mean, you can really see it's almost like quite an aggressive, mm -hmm. like bottom there. It's almost it's quite like straight, whereas this one's more your kind of classic looking shape. And uh, yeah, in terms of performance, yeah, both I thought both performed, you know, quite well. But again, you just got a bit more feel with this one, which is, is what you'd expect, really. Yeah, so with both, actually, I was getting quite a bit more distance than my current clubs. I'd say they were going about one club further. So kind of my eight iron was going about one, four, five that one mm -hmm. kind of 148 with this rather than say 135 so these were going slightly further than that but I was also getting extra distance out of these but definitely in terms of strike and feel of shot these were would be my preferred option and I'd also say like the distance was more controlled so kind of your front to back dispersion was better kind of with this one if you're really middle one it's it's going to go mm -hmm. a bit further than kind of your off center strikes where there's this one the distance was more consistent across the shots yeah, so maybe if you're if you're out there and you're struggling mm -hmm. for a distance a wee bit, you'd you'd maybe go into the the speed zone model. But if you're putting a premium on accuracy and controlling your distance and you know trying to hit your shots pin high, you'd mm -hmm. you'd go with this this model. I think you're still going to get a bit of extra distance out of these. Both of them have some shared technologies that are helping you with that. So they have this kind of PowerShell technology. And what that is, is the face is forged. So it's just giving you a larger sweet spot. So kind of giving you a bit more launch mm -hmm. and a bit more ball speed. So that's why we're seeing a bit more distance across both. But obviously, I think the key thing is kind of the forgiveness. Um, on your off-center strikes, you're going to get a lot more help from this just because the center of gravity is so low. Um, and a lot of that is to do with this weight in the move, but they've also got a carbon fiber top line. Yeah, I noticed that. So that's the first time they've had this, and that just allows them to save extra grams that can be pulled down to the bottom of the club. So that's helping you with your launch and your forgiveness again. And I think that's the first time that Cobra views this on a club, and visually you can see like it stands out. I think that's kind of nice when technology you can see them and see yeah. what it is. But obviously it does look a bit different of the ball, so that's a preference thing to if people are going to like that look. Yeah. So two visually very different irons from Cobra, but offering great performance across the board. So really it's about looking at what you want to add to your game, whether it be forgiveness, distance, and picking the right model for you. So if you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and keep your eyes on our channel for some more content coming soon.